In this video, we are going to talk about GIS, Geographic Information System for Biologists. So, this first video, number one, is the video to introduce you this course, okay? So, we are going to talk about GIS, what is GIS, why it's useful for you as biologists working in conservation biology, and then, obviously, we need a software to use that, and we are going to use QGIS, which is one of the most powerful, or actually, the, for me, the most powerful uh, software to do geographic information system. So, QGIS is a software. GIS is a domain. It's like doing statistics. And if you want to do statistics, now you are, you are going to use R as a software. So, GIS is a domain and we are going to use QGIS which is a software. QGIS is like R doing statistic doing GIS for QGIS. Okay? Just for you to understand uh, the differences because maybe you are beginner and after this course you will understand why it's super useful to be a minimum uh, knowledgeable in GIS with QGIS. Okay? So, in this course, I will split uh, each interesting part uh, in several videos. And then, if you need a specific part to come back, then you just have to check the, the title and you go back on this little, uh, little part. At the end, I will ask you several maps to, to make. And I think if you are able to do at least these four exercises with four maps, you will be able to, to do maybe more than 50% of the need for a professional biologist when people will ask you to do some, uh, some, uh, some maps. Most, most of the work can be done with what you will, you will learn now in this few hours uh, training. Okay, so let's start. First, you are probably on your computer right now watching this video. So you got a powerful computer and then we'll install that on your computer. First, I show you what we're going to do. You will, after this training, know what is GIS clearly and all, all what you can do with uh, this, the software doing GIS. Oh, this is in French. Uh, in French, GIS is uh, the reverse. Uh, you will uh, load and install that on your computer and first of all we will be able to do your first figure in all your report or publication it's always quite open huh? it's, it's it's actually uh, a map for localization of your work and then i will teach you how to do that how to to more to, to make a more bulky um, uh, QGIS using plugins, etc. Because you will see it's like R. You can include new package into your software. I will show you all the resources available for ecologists. Very useful for you. How to find the forest cover, uh, watershed, um, geographic or uh, geologic or whatever. Or oh, home range for a species. You will see there is a lot, a lot, a lot already available. So first of all, when you start a project, you have to check if what you need is not already available. So we, we are going to check that. You will know what is objects, attributes, how to sort all your objects according of your need, uh, to ge georeference a, a, a picture, a map, which is a, a picture, uh, how to load data, GPS, etc., etc., etc. And what, what is the most important, it's like a tutorial what I want to teach you is also that with basics and uh, how to train, uh, I will train you to find your, the, the reply to your questions by yourself and you will see that you can do everything by yourself actually. But at, we, at least with this training, um, I will boost a little bit what you can do by yourself. Maybe in 20 hours, we'll do it in five or ten hours, depend of your own rhythm. Okay, I will be like a catalyst. <laughs> so, first of all, now 
you need to load uh, the, this, the, um, to, to understand first what is GIS, Geographic Information System. So uh, look at this little video. If you want, I will go give you the link. It's a cool introduction. It's gonna load. Uh, why you don't want to load, guys? Oh. Oh, come on. Mm. My computer is slow because now I have QGIS and several other things, so it will be quite slow. GIS stands for Geographic Information System. Using computer hardware, software, and a ton of raw data, we can explore the fundamental principle of geography, that location is important in people's lives. Using GIS, we can view, understand, question, visualize, and interpret data in visual ways that reveal relationships and patterns which allows us to make better decisions. For example, a meteorologist might study the paths of hurricanes to predict where and when they might occur in the future. A city planner can choose the best location for a new park or hospital, ensuring that they are built in the place where they're needed the most. GIS is essential to understanding what has happened, what is happening, and what will happen in geographic space. Geographic understanding brings wisdom, and with wisdom, we can make better decisions to create a brighter future. Wow. So, what you understood now is that GIS is not only for biologists, it's also for a lot of other um, activities, okay? Obviously, in geography, urbanism, and uh, so on, okay? But you will know, you will see that actually it can be very, very powerful, very interesting, a very good tool for biologists, actually. A lot of biologists are specialized in uh, GIS. And they do only maps or uh, things like that. Treatment on maps, analysis, and things like that. So maybe some of you will be GIS specialists. Okay? So this is GIS, the domain, but we need a software. Let's go and let's install QGIS. Okay? Why you will click on this link? I will let the link into the comments. I, will, I want to show you that uh, QGIS is actually something free. That's why we are going to work on this free software. A, a bit like R. It was made by um, some scientists, passionate people who really wanted to have a free, powerful tool to do, um, to do GIS work. As I told you, a bit of like hard. So at the beginning, you have few unpassionate guys, and then you will see. So in 2002, so it's a quite young software. It was just few guys, and with the time, more and more scientists, technicians, engineers came and added some package, some tools to make a bulkier QGIS. QGIS is for quantum uh, GIS. It was the previous logo, this one, and I will show you, if you want to watch the video, it's a GURS. GURS is a kind of explanation to, to historically see what's happened to a software. And you see each little ball, it's like a kind of package or code, and then it's growing, 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 growing. So 2003, and then you will see, you have GURS also for R or for other funny uh, software. And you will see, ooh la la, in two years, more people join, and at the end, it's huge. I will leave the, the link for this video if you want to watch entirely. Okay? And then you see it's a big constellation with a lot of different tools, plugins, etc. Uh, etc. Et and now, QGIS is very, very strong. You maybe heard about uh, ArcGIS. So it's another um, software, but this one is uh, not for free. Okay, and uh, just to know, for you, a lot of European uh, ministry officially ask their services to use QGIS. Okay, the free one. 
So you see it's very very strong, it's powerful, reliable. Okay? And then it stopped only in 2010. Wow, so you can imagine now it's huge. Okay. Now I will show you how to load it and I will load it with you. Okay? But first, let's go on the website. Okay? So you can write qgis.org in your searching engine and then you will have that. So you see, I did this course six months ago and yet already there is another, um, another version. So you can check the number for the version and quite often they write a, a town into the into the world. So now it's an over in Germany. So I, I should have a version which is with a Spanish a Spanish city and Coronia. Yeah, Coronia. So let's go and I will put it in English for you. Uh, have a look if you want to, to check the story of QGIS, who is uh, the community working on that. Maybe you will be part of later if you are a specialist. You will, be, you will uh, make some package or some cool plugins. And then you, like me, you will do that. Download. So it's a bulky, it's a big uh, software. So I hope your computer have space. So. Here, always I propose to use the very last version, okay? But be aware that quite often, unfortunately, you will have some mini bug, okay? It's normal, you see, you saw that it's an evolving project, so take always the long term release, the most stable version, okay? With this one, cross, finger crossed, uh, we shouldn't have a lot of bugs. Okay, check if your computer is 64 or 32 um, bytes. Me, I'm on Windows. If uh, I have a PC, if you are on Mac or Linux, help yourself. Okay, long term, this one 64. I load. Okay, come on, please. Uh, tuk, 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 uh, load. Okay. Then during this time, I talk to you, so you all, you can do the same. Pause on this video, and then I will explain to you what we're gonna do next uh, in another video. Okay, I will cut because as I told you, I want several little videos. It's easier for you to come back or um, to do at your at your own pace. Okay, and then next video. I will uh, we will together load the first the very first map to jump into the world and to check all what you can do and then we'll make together our first map okay as a PNG or G JPEG for your report okay and then after uh, video after video uh, we'll go into details and we'll study more tools okay see you.